Devotion to Mary. Mary is the daughter of the Father, she is the mother of the Son, and she is the mystical spouse of the Holy Spirit. Mary, according to St. Louis de Montfort, is the quickest, shortest, easiest, the most efficacious way to arrive at heaven. We can read a biblical verse on the beauty, the purity of Mary. We can actually take the, the book of Wisdom. Wisdom chapter 7 verse 25. And I read, He is the breath of the might of God and the pure emanation of the glory of the Almighty. Therefore nothing that is defiled can enter into her. That verse, nothing that is defiled can enter into her. The beautiful reference of one of the greatest privileges that God gave to Mary. And it's a privilege that we call a dogma of the Immaculate Conception. What is Immaculate Conception? God gave Mary this privilege that at the very moment of Mary's conception, God intervened. In the person of our mother, Saint Anne, preserving Mary from the slightest stain of sin. She was preserved from original sin. For that reason, the English, the English poet Wordsworth says that Mary is our tainted nature's solitary boast. And because of the privilege of the Immaculate Conception, Mary never, never once in her life did Mary ever commit a sin. Mary never com committed a sin in her thoughts. Mary never committed a sin in her words. Mary never committed a sin in her actions. So what flowed from the Immaculate Conception of Mary was also her impeccable being. She was the sinless one. Therefore, the closer we get to Mary, cultivating devotion to her, loving her, talking to her, praying to her, the less we're going to sin and the closer we're going to get to God. So let us often say this beautiful prayer to Mary. O oh, Mary, conceive without sin, pray for us who have recourse 